Good day. Uh, this is Edmaps again. So today, ang pag-uusapan natin is related sa investment. I hope you are in good health. So sa investment, ang formula natin dyan is uh, income minus savings equals expenses. So dati, nung hindi ko pa alam ang investment kung ano yan, so ang formula ko is income minus expenses equals savings. So since aware na ako kung ano yung meaning ng investment at kung paano mag-invest, uh, hindi ko na sinusundan yung dati kong nakagal yan. So investments, the actions or process of investing money for profit or material results. So, bago ako pumasok sa investment, uh, kailan mo rin i-consider yung uh, mga expenses mo. Lalo na yun yung mga mandatory expenses like tuition uh, fees sa school, yung uh, basic needs mo. So, kailangan lang yan. So, prior to investing, uh, budget review is uh, very important. Kailangan mong i-consider yun para alam mo yung mga amount ng pera na i-aalat mo for investment. So, there are different types of investment. So, ano-ano ba itong mga to? So, number one is emergency fund. Sunod ay uh, mag-ibig fund. So, sa Pilipinas lang yung pag-ibig fund. Three is uh, health insurance. Meron tayo yung farm on the PH. So, sa Pinas lang din available. Life insurance plus investment. So, yung DUL. Six is stocks. We have online marketing. And then, business. And yung pang siyam is yung box saving. Okay, i-discuss natin to isa-isa sa... Uh, next slide na uh, gagawin natin. So, one day, mag-create ako ng video related sa farm on. At the same time, sa online marketing, uh, business, uh, stocks, and uh, yung pag-ibig, meron ng ang ginawa last time. So, emergency fund. Uh, this is the savings in the bank use solely for emergency purpose only. So, yun lang yung gamit niya for emergency. Recommended amount is time is 3 of your current salary. So, you need to maintain the amount by depositing replacing the amount with drawn. So, let's say 90 yun. Uh, nabawasan na kalahat eh. So, pag nabawasan, you need to uh, deposit hanggang sa mabuo ulit yung amount. Do not add more money to it. So, if you need to have a savings, you need to open a uh, tawag nilang separate account. So, dapat uh, fixed amount itong uh, emergency fund dati. Next is pag-ibig fund or home development mutual fund. So, may ginawa akong video last time related sa pag-ibig fund. So, yung ayan sa baba, yun yung video na ginawa ko. So, may detail yan, may sample. So, here, uh, introduction lang gagawin natin. So, pag-ibig fund, 20 years yan plus interest. So, after 20 years, ganun pa lang makukuha yung amount. Kung pag-ibig to naman, 5 years, which has 4 to 6% uh, more or less interest. And 4% yung pinaka-minimum interest. So, to watch the details, like I said, you can watch my video below on uh, YouTube. Or you can subscribe to my channel para ma-watch mo yung iba pang video. A tutorial video related sa mapagkakitaan at mga tips. So, health insurance, it protects you and your family financially in the event of an ex unexpected serious illness or injury that could be expensive. 
It is the maintenance or improvement of health via the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease, illness, injury, and other physical and mental impairments in human beings. So, misan kasi kapag medyo grabe yung uh, sakit, uh, nababawa or hindi magkakasa yung emergency fund, misan na babawasan pa yung savings mo, so yung health insurance uh, ang importante. So, bali, sa yung magko-cover ng mga uh, large expenses mo. So, get the best health insurance for you and your family. So, maraming health insurance out there. You have to do is to ask your friend or search kung ano ba yung uh, magandang insurance para sa'yo at sa family mo. So, farm on that PH, uh, another investment. So, farm on that PH is a crowdfunding community where people can help farmers on their financial needs and at the same time reap rewards for their contribution. So, para ka dito ng uh, virtual farmer and then yung contribution mo, yun naman yung maging tuhunan ng mga real farmer. So, parang farm bill in the reality show. So, mag-create ako ng video nito one day. So, for the meantime, you can go to www.farmon.ph sa uh, details related to uh, farm on. So, sa farm on, uh, nakakatulong ka na sa mga farmers. At the same time, kikita ka pa. Next is uh, life insurance plus investment. So, ito yung tawag na variable universal life insurance which I recommend in sa mga uh, tatay na nanay na uh, only their work is the source of income. So, may dalang benefits to yung living and death benefits. So, sa akin, hindi uh, kong gamit yan as a retirement plan whether in educational plan kasi may 2 years old akong anak. So, 10 years from now, magiging 12 na yon, mag-high school na siya. Pwede rin sa naging puhunan or nagpunong sa existing business mo. So, uh, business plan naman. So, may BL is payable in 10 years. Uh, quarterly yung deduction. So, nagkukos siya ng mga 3K per month. So, yung binabayaran ko. So, after 10 years, you can get 80% of your uh, total investment. So, mag-grow siya kapag hindi mo siya kinuha. So, manganak pa ng manganak yung kera mo dun. So, lumalaki siya ng lumalaki after uh, XX years. So, uh, you can get also both the living and the death benefits after uh, maturity period. So, in my case, um, ano siya, nasa uh, 48 years uh, from now. So, makukuha ko yung parehong benefits. So, yun. So, punta naman tayo sa debt benefits. So, debt benefits, ito naman yung insurance. Ito is yung family mo lang yung pwedeng kumuha dyan. So, income protection siya kasi let's say, yung nag-avail ng DOL, tawagin na lang natin si client. So, pag nawala si client, uh, makukuha ng family mo yung insurance. So, hindi sila masyadong maghirap kasi may budget sila na naiwan. So, pwede rin itong pambayad ng state tax. Ito yung ini-impose na tax ng government kapag uh, nawala si client. So, yung babayaran ng family mo, let's say, yung bahay mo, 1M siya. So, 20% doon, which is 200 so, yung babayaran nila para mapunta sa kanila yung iniwan mong property. So, I applied uh, 500k. So, times 2 yun. It is nakalagay sa policy yun. So, 1M makukuha nila. So, pag nag-commit yung suicide si client, hindi makukuha nung naiwan yung pera. So, in accidental debts naman, magkakaroon ng 500k as uh, additional rider. So, bali for accidental debts, uh, 
makakabil sila ng uh, 1.5 yung may iwan ni client so meron akong ginawa na uh, parang uh, method or uh, strategy para mabayaran ko yung uh, uh, quarterly na binabayaran ko sa insurance so gumawa ako ng peso uh, challenge So, instead na one year, ginawa natin ko siya quarterly. So, apat na quarter yung uh, ate. Kasi sa isang taon, merong uh, apat na quarter. So, yan. Yeah. Yan yung ginawa ko. So, for three months, after three months, nagkakaroon ko ako ng uh, one, I mean, nine one. So, 9,100 pesos so kada quarter yung pambayad ko na sa, I mean, pambayad ko sa uh, BUL ko so, yung amount na yan is galing dun sa budget ko so sa BUL uh, 10 years ka lang magbabayad sa akin, yung policy ko so after 10 years uh, hindi ka na kailangan magbayad or obligang magbayad so next is yung stocks So, sa stocks, meron tayong tinatawag na PCA o yung Peso Calls Averaging and uh, pwede rin yung trader. So, sa Peso Calls Averaging, uh, continuously purchasing stock shares at fixed amount and in regular intervals, let's say 5K monthly. So, yun yung uh, alam mo mula, uh, buwan -buwan. So, automatically buy fewer shares when the stock price is high, siyempre. So, and more shares when the stock price is low. So, effective ang physical averaging uh, when the general market is on a major downtrend. So, kasi marami kang mabibiling shares during that time. Okay, so COL stands for for financial. So, ito yung broker ko. Uh, or broker na pwedeng mag-start ka dyan 5K lang. So, sa pagiging trader naman, may mga tatawag nila buy and hold strategies. So, buy kapag mababa yung nab po and uh, isell mo siya kapag mataas yung uh, nab po, yung net asset value per unit. So, sa COL, you can start with uh, 5k as starting amount or gusto mo, kung may pera ka 25k so yung 5k has 1 uh, minute delay showing the data, while yung 25k naman, may real time yun data so importante yan kapag trader ka but, if you are a starter and uh, gusto ko lang malaman kung paano mag trade, uh, you can start with 5k and later on I-upgrade mo na lang siya once ma-reach mo yung 25k. Higher risk ang trader uh, but with high profit in a short time. Kasi pwede kang daily kumita dyan. Unlike yung peso cost averaging, it take years para magkaroon ng uh, profit. Next is online marketing. So, sa online marketing, marami yan. So, merong YouTube. So, gaya ng ginagawa ko ngayon. So, yung YouTube ako. And, uh, next is, uh, vlogger. O, so, yung vlogging. So, sa vlogging, uh, may mga affiliate. You know, I mean, uh, like yung sa Amazon, minsan may mga libing affiliate dyan, sa eBay. Na pwede mong i-link sa vlogs mo. Sa si YouTube, pwede mong ilagay dun sa vlog mo. So, para mabag-gain ka ng mga followers or members. So, pwede rin online ebooks books din yan. Uh, Airbnb, ito yung let's say meron kang um, property na malapit sa beach resort. So, pwede mong i-post sa Airbnb and someone will rent yung uh, uh, property mo or house mo na malapit dun sa beach resort. So, Amazon, you can buy and sell product and then 
uh, may affiliate yan na pwede rin i-link mo sa vlog mo. So, mayroon kung ma, uh, I mean, mahilig ka sa logo design, pwede rin uh, kumita online. So, sa Pinterest, uh, yung Pinterest kasi ay yung content selling. So, kung may logo ka kung paano gumawa ng logo design, you can post it on Pinterest. So, iba naman yung survey. So, mag-take ka ng survey and we'll, uh, it'll get you a certain amount. Uh, same with Instagram. So, need mo lang dyan is followers. And then, mag pwede ka rin mag link dyan to a certain affiliate. And fiber naman. Uh, ito yung kung let's say may skill ka. So, let's say parang e-learning. So, pwede mong i-benta dyan sa fiber na yan. Website design. Kung mahilig ka sa website design, pwede mo rin yung i-benta online. So, pwede kang gamitin yung Pinterest. Pwede mong gamitin yung Fiber. So, kung may short process ka using uh, website design. So, mobile apps, ganun din. Uh, yung iba, pag say, may link ka sa game, you can uh, drag and drop uh, application without uh, having a development knowledge or dev knowledge. So, photos, kung may link ka mag-picture-picture, picture, and you have this uh, magandang camera na pwede mong gamitin. So, you can sell online po. Forex is yung uh, trading po. So, parang stock. This spring, yung online buying t-shirts. So, buy and sell of domains. And then, ibenta mo ng mahal. So, online store is, let's say, YouTube. You can use it as an online store kung meron pang mga product like homemade bags or kung ano pa man, wallet and so on. So, pag may hilig kang magsulat, pwede ka rin kumita dyan online. So, pwede mong i-post yung uh, paano ka magsulat doon sa Pinterest. So, again, Pinterest is a uh, content scene. So, eBay, buy and sell yan. So, pwede yung link yan doon sa blogs mo. Website development, uh, okay rin yan. Uh, let's say one-time payment or yung uh, service in XX year. So, either din sa dalawa. Depende sa pagkasunduan ng client mo. So, website testing. So, pwede rin yan. Meron kang gamitin mo yung Pinterest kung paano mag uh, gumawa ng website testing. So, marunong ka. And uh, buy and sell of website, so parang buy and sell of domains na. But this time, may content na yung uh, domain mo or umaandar na siya. So last is yung design or sell ng research online. So marami pa ang pwedeng uh, online na pwedeng gawin na sa parang passive income mo. So, of course, maliban sa work mo. So next is we have business. So prepared ko dito ay yung realty business and yung franchising. So realty doesn't mean kailan mo ng malaking amount. So you can start with small amount. Let's say makakilala ka sa somewhere in the squatter area na may kilala ko dun. Pwede kang bumili ng rights. Okay, siyempre tingnan mo yung location. Kung malapit pa ito sa malls, schools, companies. So okay yung uh, target na yun. So, pwede mo siyang gawing uh, bed space survey rental. So, be an agent, uh, okay rin siya yung experience in prices dito siya. Experience on how to deal with uh, buyers and other, uh, I mean, license uh, real estate uh, agent. So, rent to own, kapag mayroong property ka, pwede mong i-parent sa isang family and kung nag-use nila yung location, pwede mong i-parent to own yun in XXX years. So, yun. Depende yun sa usapan nyo. So, next is yung bridge space sir rental. So, kailan malapit ka sa malls, schools, companies, eh, etc. 
location renting. So, ito yung, let's say, may nalistas ko kanina. May property ka located somewhere and beach resort na, or known resort. So, pwede mong iparenta yun sa mga nagbabakasyon. So, yun yung discarded. Is maganda siya kasi ilang days lang siyang, silang nandun. And then, uh, irerepa pa rin tamo ulit sa iba. And then, you have buy and sell of house and lot. Buy. And then, i-renovate mo. I-benta mo ng mas mataas na presyo. So, franchising. You can start with a uh, food cart. So, uh, 30 to 50K na puhunan dyan. So, merong scrambles, burger stuff, and so on. So, sa Shumai business naman, uh, around uh, 300 to 500 yung puhunan mo dyan sa Shumai, Shumai business. Okay, so, of course, we have franchise of Jollibee, KFC, McDonald's, and Chow King. So, multi-million yung, uh, I mean, puhunan mo dyan. But, uh, kung maganda ang location, so, sulit yung kikitain mo dyan. So, last is a uh, bank savings account. So, I placed this on the last item on my list. We need savings to buy asset. So, asset, ito yung property that provides income, money in your pocket. So, tawag doon ay asset. So, choose the best bank you think your money is safe. Put your excess profit from your investment or business to this account. So, avoid withdrawing money for your savings during emergency. Remember, you have emergency fund. That's it for today's topic. So, if you uh, think this is informative, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Again, this is EdMaps Video Tutorial.